Hey, what's up? This is Bo. Welcome to my channel, Barracuda Time. If you ask me, which watch would you choose if you can only have one? My answer is Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi 126710BLRO. It is also the watch on the top of my wish list. It has the perfect combination of red and blue color on the bezel, a diving watch case offering durability and robustness, and a very easy to use GMT function for international travelers just like me. Since released in 2018, the Rolex GMT Pepsi with ceramic bezel has been extremely difficult to get. In early 2022, its price on the secondary market even reached more than three times of its retail. Even now, it is still almost impossible to get from AD without a long purchase history. I immediately fell in love with this watch since it was released, but I have been waiting for more than five years. A few weeks ago, I finally pulled the trigger on this secondary market, and here are the reasons. Reason number one, I love this watch. It is quite straightforward, right? The red and blue bezel is such a unique and eye-catching element of the watch, which brings strong vitality. To me, a frequent international traveler, this watch also offers the opportunity for me to track time in different time zones easily without a busy dial. I've been wearing the aluminum bezel version Rolex 16710, but who would say no to owning both of them at the same time? Especially the aluminum version looks delicate and the ceramic version brings more sturdy feeling. Reason number two, shortage of supply and possible discontinuation. As a watch enthusiast, a frequent traveler, I had the perks of visiting Rolex ADs at different countries in different continents. In the recent few months, I have talked about Rolex Pepsi with ADs in the US, Hong Kong, Brazil, mainland China, and Switzerland. Basically, all of them expressed the surprise shortage of this watch. Some of them even told me that they have never seen any GMT Pepsi since Q1 of 2023, which is considered to be an indicator of discontinuation. Of course, there's no way for me to validate the information I got, but I can safely assume that there is a pretty broad shortage and potential discontinuation of this watch. The most widely discussed reason for the shortage is the poor quality control of the red-blue bezel. To manufacture the ceramic bezels, the alumina and the chromium oxide powder with gel substrate has to be heated to as high as 1500 degrees C. Bezels with single color and black and another color are relatively easy to make with low failure rate. However, Pepsi bezel is the only one that has two colors and no black color on them. Issues of cracking and color migration has been reported to lower the pass rate. Reason number three premium down to a reasonable range. Since early 2022, the watch market has cooled down quite significantly. The price of Rolex GMT Pepsi on the secondary market also has dropped. Now, it is about half of its peak price. It is clear that the manufacturing cost of the red-blue ceramic bezel is higher than the blue-black or the green-black ceramic bezels. I wouldn't mind paying a little extra to make sure I have my grill watch in my hands now. As for the availability of Rolex GMT Pepsi, what could happen next? First of all, even though some people believe the shortage is caused by the quality control issue of the bezel, I don't think Rolex will totally discontinue Pepsi GMTs. They could choose to only keep the white gold versions, which is in volume anyway. Actually, before the stainless steel ceramic Pepsi was released in 2018, the ceramic Pepsi bezel was only available on the white gold version. If this happens, the secondary market price of stainless steel Pepsi will jump, but the possibility of the situation is very low. Remember, 
Rolex solved the quality control issue of the bezel before extending the ceramic bezel from white gold exclusive to the stainless steels. Also, the current white gold version of Pepsi are now very well differentiated from the stainless steel ones. In my opinion, the most probable situation will be Rolex will just keep the production of ceramic Pepsi low, maybe even lower than the stainless steel Daytona. In this case, the price of stainless steel Pepsi on the secondary market will likely stabilize. Overall, I think the Rolex GMT Pepsi stainless steel will likely remain online, but with very low production. The supply shortage could probably persist. Have you discussed this GMT Pepsi shortage with any ADs or watch dealers? What did you find out? Please leave your answer down below in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the thumb up button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.